All right, we're going to take a look at, uh, at a classic rhythm changes standard. Uh, the, the rhythm changes for Cottontail are uh, most commonly in the key of B-flat. If you want to hear this tune, um, I would suggest going to an album called The Big Four with uh, Duke Ellington, Ray Brown, uh, Louis Belson, and Joe Pass. What a killer album. And they play this uh, tune at about 100 miles an hour. And so it's, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty great. But it's a fun tune to learn, and, uh, and it'll give you something to melodic to play over, uh, over rhythm changes if, if you can find some, uh, you can record your own or, or whatever the case is. So I'm going to take you through the, um, uh, the melody slowly. And uh, rhythm changes, as you know, like one, six, two, five, right? One, six, two, five. But in this, in this uh, one here, there's a uh, there's a variation. It goes to the three chord instead of back to the one, which is very common. I, I should I should take a look at that right now. So rather than going one, six, two, five, and then repeating one, six, two, five, which is, uh, which is v most common, uh, th these changes here just do, uh, uh, just do uh, a, something that's slightly different and, and very common. It uh, goes up to the three chord and it does a sort of a two, five and another two, five, right? And then, and then on we go. Okay. So, and when I say three chord, I mean B flat, and then one, that's one chord, two chord C minor, and then, and then the uh, three chord uh, being D minor. And so when I say two five, in this case, you could do, you could do either the G minor seven, or you could do a G seven as well. G seven is a nice change as well. So maybe like you could go D minor, to the G7, F7, all right, and then as you know, the middle section uh, just has, in Cottontail, the middle section just, just has the, the changes. There's no melody, so all we have to do is just learn the, uh, you know, essentially an eight measure melody, and uh, and then you and then you're good to go. So so let's learn this. Uh, let's learn this together. So we begin, um, and and the way I'm I, I'm going to give it to you is 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 in a way that's comfy on the fretboard that that sort of makes uh, uh, good uh, good sense. So we have uh, C, and then a little G minor triad. All right, let's do that again. C, there's the triad, and back to the C. Okay, and then uh, C. Right, yeah. It, I mean, if you if you've uh, you've probably played uh, played your pentatonic scale, uh, the, the, uh, let's see. So re really, you know, it's it's just like like having those pentatonic lines underneath your fingers. All right. Okay. Let's do that one more time. And so we're in third position. Okay, that's pretty. That's pretty nice. That's pretty simple. Falls right underneath your fingers. Everything stays in position, right? No jumping around. And then, and then, um, it's a good idea to move to position five, right? For that flat five. Now, um, if I if I play this melody a little bit, you'll hear you'll hear how that how that note bites.
Yeah, and he just sits there, right on a right on a strong beat of the of the measure, or you know the, the predominant note of the measure. And if we play that note against the B flat seven chord, we end up with this chord. And you can clearly hear there it is. So it's a B flat seven flat five chord, right? Even though it doesn't say that, it just says B flat seven. But as soon as you put that flat five on top, it is a B flat seven flat five chord. All right, so uh, so let's take that let's take that first little section again. Move to fret five, and then and then just down this scale, and that scale is. to B flat scale, right? And we're in the key of B flat. So, so we've got that flat five. And then we just, uh, from, the, from the 13, we work our way down the, uh, uh, the B flat uh, major, major scale, right? So pretty, pretty simple. Let's take, let's take that much again. flat five and, and then down the scale right because it's, that's it's not fun that's nice and simple all right and then and then to finish that off uh, after after we play that little that little descending run in the uh, in the key of B flat we have this little line here starting on the G really simple just a chromatic line and then go down two frets chromatic line down two frets chromatic line right right easy nice nice and easy and and we'll we'll uh, we'll take a closer look at what notes we're using and how they relate to the chords once we once we feel comfortable with this uh, with this melody. So we start on the C, play a little G minor triad, move up to the fifth fret with the flat five. Descending on on the on the B flat major scale, and then these these chromatic lines. Okay, so that's good so far. Now let's take a look. At uh, at what the uh, what the notes are telling us. So the first uh, the first note we have is a C, and it's being played in the, in this case. Uh, uh, they're they're suggesting a B flat major seven. I guess you could do B flat major seven. I, you know the the six is nicer, nicer to change, a little less a little less heavy. That, that, that B flat six changes better and it sounds more appropriate for this. Uh, and so and so you've got uh, you've got the C against the B flat, which is the nine. It's the it's the nine of the scale of B flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? Okay, so we start on the nine, and then we go to a G minor seven chord, and you'll notice that, oh well, holy smokes. I'm playing a G minor triad, right? So there's no like weird, crazy, woo, you know, jazzy notes in here. And then I go to uh, uh, the root of the of the C minor chord, and that, uh, and then F seven by by itself, or the fifth of the of the F chord, right? It was also the C. And uh, and then uh, the C uh, over. Uh, 
over the D minor 7 chord, that C would be the flat 7 of the D minor 7 chord. Uh, the, uh, the C, uh, this C would be um, uh, actually the 4th of the G minor 7, which is a little, a little different, right? 4th of the G minor 7. Uh, they, just keep in mind, this stuff is, is you know, the, these changes are going to turn around pretty fast. 4th going to the 5th of the G minor 7. And then, uh, and then the root of flat seven and five of the C minor chord, all the notes in the chord is what I'm pointing out, then to the root of the chord, right, of the, of the chord of F7. And then we have that flat five against the B flat seven, giving us a B flat seven flat five. And, um, and then... Uh, uh, we have the third, uh, you know, anticipation of the of the E flat six. We have the third of the E flat six going down uh, to the to the nine, and then to the root of the E flat six, and uh, and then the D. Uh, we have the flat seven of the E of the of the E half diminished seventh. You know, and so on. So um, that that that's that'll suffice there. And and here these lines here, these chromatic lines. That note, that uh, a a note is the ninth. The next one, that note is the fifth of the C minor. And that note that we end up with there is the uh, is the root of the F seven. Now, um, as I, as I was going, you know, prepping for this, I thought to myself, "Gee, that's such a simple and cool little line," and it gives you this really neat exercise to do. And I'll, and, uh, and and so what that exercise is what is uh, is you can take uh, you can take the B flat uh, in the key of B flat and go through the progression. And just run this little this little three note chromatic figure up to the root of each chord. G, G, you see, C to the F to the D to the G. Right, that that just a great great little exercise. I, I challenge you to do that exercise. Uh, it, it'll it'll give you some uh, some good um, some good some good practice in finding those root notes. So what you're doing is you're starting a tone below the the, the note that you want to get to, right? So B flat uh, is is here, right? At at uh, at fret uh, eight, and uh, and you're starting a tone below at fret six, and you're just working your way up chromatically. Here's G, starting a tone below. A C a tone below, an F a tone below, right? And and the, the, you're you're going to end up with uh, not only a nice little exercise, but a good thinking exercise as well. A good plural practice kind of opportunity there. All right, so um, uh, that's uh, that's the melody. We're going to just take it through slowly uh, one last time. Uh, so you start on the C in third position. And then stay on the C. Going down to what it amounts to a pentatonic type scale. And and then uh, the our flat five. Descending in the key of B flat. And then we have our, our chromatic lines. And then we repeat. Flat five. And then these chromatic lines, the second ending, they change. These first two remain exactly the same. But because we're resolving to the B flat at this point, we go to the B flat. Okay, get the idea, and then from there, the two goes through uh, its its cycle, uh, and and the cycle the cycle is going to be D seven, uh, just just like out of the cycle of fifths, right? The cycle is going to be D seven, G seven, C seven, F seven, and then we're back to the to the final 
um, eight measures of the tune, which are going to be exactly the same as the, uh, as the first eight and the second eight. All right. So let's see, where are we here? Okay. Well, and Cottontail is right here. Cool. Um, so I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, the, it, it's, it's really, a, really a great idea to get, uh, uh, to get melodies like this underneath your fingers. The, the more you do, the better. Uh, it, it will, uh, every, every tune, uh, 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 Cottontail included, will have something to teach you, right? It'll have a nice little, little lick to teach you. Um, e even this, uh, uh, the, this, you know, this, this little um, uh, G minor. That's a nice little line, right? So if if I'm if I'm in another, let's say I'm in the uh, in the um, I don't know the key of A minor, you know. Yeah, there we go. See, so I just work that into another line. Right. There you go. And, and so you, you, you build up a repertoire. There's no, no better way to build up a repertoire of nice lines than, than, than learning nice melodies. Because we know the melodies work, so why not, why not use some of that as raw material for your own soloing, right? Okay, so if this was a help, uh, this is a great tune. Remember Big Four? Uh, Duke Ellington, Joe Pass, Ray Brown, and uh, Louis Belson. I saw them live many years ago in Vancouver. Oh, what, 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 oh gosh, man, am I glad I did that. Uh, and, uh, and if you don't know Joe Pass, uh, don't, don't know his work, uh, go out and buy every, every one of his albums. And so great, thanks. Uh, thanks a lot for dropping by. Um, make sure to subscribe, uh, sign up, and, uh, and say, uh, you like and and if you uh, uh, want to ask any questions or or uh, have any suggestions like directions that, that that we can go here just let us know thanks for dropping by and see you soon